So yeah, so today we're here at Yankee Stadium and we're so excited to be here with District 9, partnership with 21st Century Ed for the science, uh, science fair and, and STEM Expo. So we have our STEM Fest today. Kids will get another opportunity to be exposed to STEM, all kind of different stations we have set up for kids to engage and get their hands on it. So we're just excited to be in New York City to expose kids and reach out in a different region to expose kids to STEM. We'll be able to make slime, they'll be able to get to see chemistry demonstrations, build circuits, they'll be able to interact with playing music with a banana, fly drones, um, play in virtual reality, engage in virtual reality. So we have all types of different science, technology, engineering, math activities for kids to engage in. Really cool go kart, it's really cool. We uh, hooked it up, the guy cut it for me, and then he put the wheels on, and then I. He, this guy over here, you he helped me with the circuit board, and now I'm customizing. Well, we are having our annual district science fair. We just happen to be having it at Yankee Stadium in partnership with 21st Century and STEM NOLA. We're also putting on this tremendous STEM fest that you see behind me. And today is about putting them in the center. We're here at Yankee Stadium, the home of champions, but today the students are the show, the students are the champions, and it's important for them to see that they have all the opportunity in the world to be successful as scientists. It's important for them to know where the future lies when you look at STEM and 21st century learning. Jobs are changing, changing. opportunities are changing. Today is about students first looking at their own work, lifting them up, showing that they have this skill inside them and this capacity inside them and then getting to see that the community believes in them and is invested in them and get it also getting to put their hands on STEM exhibits and STEM learning so that they have that greater vision about where the opportunities lie. You know, I met Dr. Mackey a few years ago, and we talked about the work of STEM. We talked about the absence of black and brown kids in STEM, and that we really have to do the work on a number of levels. You know, um, his organization, STEM NOLA, is doing the work on the ground floor. It's getting into the gyms with the community, uh, having them roll their sleeves up to get the work done. My organization, we're in the schools with the teachers and the students leveraging curriculum around STEM. And when we bring the two together, they have this authentic experience and we make believers out of them. So it's really important for us to partner with STEM NOLA to have the kids involved in STEM in a way that they wouldn't ordinarily be. The STEM Fest itself is an incredible version of possibility for kids because what you're seeing here are kids who get a chance to walk around and see all kinds of issues and problems around the world, how those things can be solved for, how they can play a role in doing it. They can see the future possibilities for careers for themselves. I appreciate Dr. Mackey and his role and the work that he has done for these many, many years and, uh, and to be partnered with us here in New York and making this, making this happen as well. So